unrest in Puerto Rico brings hundreds of people out to protest in Central Florida. This is News 6 at 11. Getting results, I'm Lisa Bell. Matt Austin is off tonight. Many are upset over remarks the island's governor made in a private group chat. News 6's Troy Campbell is live in Orlando where a protest was held tonight in Troy. They were calling for Governor Ricardo Rosello's resignation. Yeah, Lisa, about a thousand people came out to this area tonight. They were protesting and they were chanting for Governor Rosello to step down. They're saying even though they no longer live on their home island, the recent protests there still affect them here in Orlando. Holding Puerto Rican flags, a large group coming together in Orlando to protest Governor Ricardo Rosello. Overnight, demonstrations on the island becoming violent as protesters and police clashed. Tensions rising after leaked messages between Rosello and other politicians, including derogatory statements towards homosexuals and seemingly supporting actions of violence towards journalists and San Juan Mayor Carmen Yulin Cruz. It feels amazing to have the community of Puerto Rico not only on the island mobilized, but also in the diasporas in Orlando. It's very important for us to support them back home. About a thousand people showing up in Orange County, chanting for Rosello to step down. Valerie Cruz moving to Orlando from Puerto Rico just two weeks ago. I feel very powerless. I I'm, I haven't been able to sleep while I'm just watching my social media, looking at what's going on in the island, um, supporting all of my friends. The protests briefly escalating after one counter protester with a megaphone began shouting at the group. We have here people from the party of the governor also demanding his resignation. So we have unity today among our Puerto Rican people here. Rosello did apologize while speaking to reporters today. However, he says he has no intentions of resigning. This despite his own secretary of state and chief financial officer stepping down amidst this controversy. The White House also issued a statement today saying that the leaked messages further proved the escalating corruption on the island. Live in Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell getting results. News 6. Troy, thank you.